Welcome to the Liberator 12K Cafe 12 Alpha release. And I'm gonna show you now how to tear down and reassemble the Cafe 12 model of the shotgun. This is a break action and it should have a sling. If yours doesn't have a sling, it is a Cafe 12 minus because you are silly and really, really need to get a sling. Anyway, so the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and take the sling off so we can easily work with it. I'm gonna do a tear down, we don't need it but you do, it's a buy one. All right, enough about that. Anyway, this is the uh, break action version of the shotgun to break the gun open. There's different ways to do it, but the short version is just rock forward on the foregrip of the gun. This is a spring loaded uh, extractor here and when it's closed, it uh, acts to keep the gun more or less closed. Uh, there's no latch on here. There's no other motion required or actions required to get that thing to unlock. It's meant to be really, really, really simple. Okay, so to disassemble the gun, we're gonna break that open. They're gonna take off the frame nuts. So to do that, this is a half inch, a half 13 bolt, and we're going to use a three quarter inch wrench to do this. So we'll take those off, loosen those. Uh, do break the gun when you do this, otherwise that spring is going to be working against you to unscrew those nuts the whole time. Alright, so the frame nuts are screwed, unscrewed. I'm going to remove the forend. So we have the forend and the receiver. This is the receiver front. It's actually specific to the forend. Uh, this will change depending on what model of the gun you have. Um, the receiver has a big fat round section here to prevent uh, back blast, but this recoil plate works on both. Uh, but yeah, this is the receiver front. Take that off. This is the receiver. To disassemble the receiver, we're going to remove the stock. We're going to push this button inside, push that in, push that in, then we can push on the side buttons and they'll come out. So those are tabs that stick out into these side cutouts and to push them down, you gotta push that latch and then you can actuate them, otherwise they're locked. So that's the butt pad. We have the lower, which we're going to push this pin out. Just using an Allen key, pull the pin out. Now this is not charged, but if it was, you'd pull the trigger right now and discharge it. Pull the trigger and pull this out of the gun. That is the lower, the lower pin, which we're gonna stick in there so I don't lose it. Buttstock and the receiver. The hammer is uh, captive in there right now. You would remove that nut right there and then you could pull the hammer out of the gun. But this is the receiver. Lower, buttstock receiver front, and forend. Those are the major components of the Liberator 12K, and of course your stock, your uh, sling. Now we're gonna do a reassembly of the Cafe 12 Liberator 12K. So the first step is to put the lower in. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the receiver and the lower, pull the trigger, pull the pin, now pull the trigger. There's this little slot back here it slides into, just like that. And it's got a little T so it's retained. But pull the trigger all the way forward. Grab this pin. You want these uh, holes to be vertical. Carefully as you go in. All right, now we can put the stock in, push that button, push the wings in. You can, you can uh, let go of the button as, as long as the uh, wings are held in, it won't come out. So that goes into there, give it a tap. Okay, it's not going anywhere. All right, so that's the basic receiver reassembled. We're gonna put the receiver front back on. And then we can do the forend. Put the frame nuts back on. Tight, 
Hang it tight. And you want to assemble this again with this, uh, the brake action broken open. All right, then I'm just going to go tighten this a little bit. That's all right. That's good right there. Grab our sling. Back in the side. Back in the stud. Function test. There you go.